Welcome to Soul on Soul with Finesse. I am your boy Finesse, and you know how we do. We keep you so connected, and I am so honored and blessed to have uh, somebody we need to give flowers to. Uh, my mother's favorite group um, is with me today on the show, so I know she's going to love this interview when she hears it. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and dedicate this show to her as well. Uh, who I have with me today? Let me just break it down for you. This group is an American popular R&B vocal group. Their work includes Kiss and Say Goodbye, recorded in 1976, 1980 Shining Star, both sold millions of copies. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about the group, the Manhattans. Uh, they have recorded 45 hits on the Billboard R&B charts, including 12 top 10 R&B hits in the United States. And that's starting in 1965, which is two years before I was born in 1967. So I want to thank Gerald Austin for being one of the reasons why, why um, I am here today. Um, well, this group has an amazing catalog of music and truly professionals. My guest today on the show is uh, Gerald Austin and the Manhattans. And Gerald Austin has had an esteemed career himself with tons of hits. And I want to thank him for taking time out of his busy schedule to be on this show. Welcome to Soul on Soul with Finesse. Mr. Austin, how are you today? I'm doing just fine. Blessed. <laughs> uh, looking, blessed. looking mighty young for the folks that can see him on TV. Looking mighty young. Um, I want to go back, um, if I can, just for a second before we go forward. Music has changed so much, as far, especially the R&B and soul music. What was it like for you and your group when you guys came out in the 60s and then coming in the 70s and getting those hits? Well, actually, I joined the Manhattans in 1970. I replaced George Smith. Uh, George Smith passed away in December of 1970. Mm -hmm. so I started singing with the group. Um, music was, was much different because we, not just the Manhattans, but everybody in our genre, we all sang songs about, uh, that people could identify with, songs about life, falling in love, falling out of love, having a good time. You know, we sang about things that our fans could relate to. And we, we stick to that. We do that right now. And mm -hmm. today... Some songs are coming back around. I don't listen to too much uh, mainstream radio anymore. And I, it's sad, but uh, it's sad to say, but they don't respect us, they don't play us. So, you know, um, and that has nothing to do with the artists. But when I do listen to them, when I do listen to mainstream radio, some of the artists are still singing. They, some of the artists are singing songs like we recorded back in the day. And then there are some that's just, right to the point graphic don't leave nothing to the imagination but mm -hmm. um i definitely uh during that era was when we wrote real song and not two we wrote mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so and you, and you said a lot here and i, I really want to get into it because we definitely owe you and the man hands um some praise and want to give it to you now because you guys have 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 done so much from a professional standpoint and showing what good music is about. So you brought up tunes. What's the difference between a tune and a song, or is there a difference? There is a difference. A song tells a story. A tune has a melody, and that's about it. It's it's the melody that uh, everybody can sing. It doesn't really have a story. It's more or less of songs with hooks, great hooks, you know, great beats, and great hooks. And that's another thing that's missing, you know, mm -hmm. beats. Um, you when it's beat songs that are made with beats miss the um, musicians. You know, mm -hmm. when I recorded, we had musicians that played, came in and played the session, and they would feed off each other, and you hear a great song. Mm -hmm. But today, everything is done to a keyboard or produced through some kind of mechanical, you know, mechanical um, instrument. And you may have a guitar player come in, you may have a bass player come in, but they come in and play 
along with what you already have, instead of mm -hmm. playing with other musicians where they can really feel each other and produce mm -hmm. a great track. You know, songs are real music. And tunes, I mean, a lot of tunes today aren't. They're produced mechanically. Uh, I want to, again, you're giving me a lot to delve into. And I want to hear from the professional um, that's been in this music business. You and the Manhans have written great love songs. And one of the things I feel today is that we have sex songs. Yeah. Can you explain to the audience what's the difference between a love song and a sex song? Because a lot of people think sex songs are love songs. Yeah, and, and it's not. Sex songs, it's music that's written, written today, sex songs, as you, like you said, they are graphic. They go right to what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, when they're going to do it. We, we still sing about making love. We call it making love. And we always would sing songs about making love and write mm -hmm. songs about making love and left something to the imagination. It lets you think that your partner, a male singing to a female, that she was very sexy, that she that you wanted her. It just wasn't, you know, having the flesh. And next mm -hmm. to the on to the next. You know, it was about being in love, making love. And we said, we basically said the same thing, but we said it in a dignified, classic way. We left something to the imagination. And we still leave something to the imagination. All right. Talking to Jared Austin of the Manhattans, Soul on Soul of Finesse. And we're getting ready to take our first break. And we're going to come back and talk uh, and get some knowledge from Mr. Austin because he has it up. So I hope you young folks that are listening are taking notes and uh, think about doing some changes when it comes to you and your music. Um, I always want to give the artists the opportunity to share their social media and their website so people can follow them. Do you mind sharing that with everybody? Well, our website is let's just kiss and say goodbye.com. Um, our, our Facebook page um, is the Manhattan's featuring Gerald Austin, which is the same as our um, Instagram page. And um, we do have a Twitter at Manhattan. Oh, what is that? I forgot. Oh, at, at Manhattan's, that's what it is. Gerald Manhattan's eye. Uh, I can't remember the handle right now, <laughs> but we are on, you could, you could get us on uh, that. We also have a, a CD that's been out for a while. It's titled The Manhattans, featuring Gerald Alston, The Legacy Continues. You could get it on all the digital platforms. And if you want the actual physical, co actual physical copy, you could go to our website, let's just kiss and say goodbye.com. Order the CD if you wish it. Wish to have it autographed. Just make a notation that you would like it autographed, and we'll autograph it for you. And you can also get the um, the physical copy from CD Baby as well. All right. When we come back, more with Jared Austin of the Manhattan Soul on Soul of Finesse. We're keeping you so connected. You know how we do, baby. We'll be right back. Everybody responsible for bringing the Manhattans here. May God bless all of you. Thank you for being so kind. Let's go back about 20 years. June 16, 1976. This was number one. Let's go back. You gonna help us sing a song? Let's go back. This has got to be the saddest day of my life. I called you here today for just a bit of bad news. I won't be able to see you anymore because of my obligations and ties that you have. 
when you turn and you walk away. Baby, don't look back. Please don't look back. I'll remember you just like this. Johannesburg, let's just keep saying goodbye.
Welcome back, Say One Soul with Finesse. And you know, I always, all my guests that come on the show to become family. And so, 
Gerald Austin is the uncle. This is the uncle you go to in the family union that's going to give you that advice that what you need going to sit you down at the, at, the, at the domino table and kick it to you and tell you how it used to be and how it should be and going to give you correction. So Uncle Gerald is with us today. Thank you for joining us on So On, So Off and Us. And uh, let me, I, I want to go back to something you said in the first segment. You said that radio doesn't play you. Right. So what responsibility do you think that black radio should have today when it comes to playing black and soul music, especially our heroes like you? You know, I, I just think, I know that music change, the style of music change, and which we, I understand and I accept, but I think that we as artists of the 70s and 80s, even some of the 90s, shouldn't be thrown away. I, that's, that's the foundation of the music today, okay? Mm -hmm. um, if you look at any songs that, that use any uh, portions of our song, that sample any portion of our songs in their songs, that's what they use, they use us. And, and that's the foundation of their songs. You mm -hmm. know, um, I'm not angry at radio, I just think radio should still have a programming for artists of our caliber, caliber mm -hmm. because we still recording. I'm still recording, and some of the other artists are still recording. The Temptations, the Barcades, uh, Dramatics, you know, all we are still recording, and we can't get our records played at all. Wow. And mm. it's, it's sad, you know, we, um, we have, it's, it's great that we have the indie station, indie broadcast system that play our new music, you know, uh, on websites and uh, um so on, on the web radio, you know, that's great for us. But mainstream radio is like, just push us aside. We are now, the groups of the 70s are now the groups of the 50s, mm. you know. And um, I think as long as we can sing and write, there's an audience, even the young audience, this is the other thing, the young audience today love our music, will accept our music if they could only hear it. Mm -hmm. They don't get a writers and performers. All right. I, I, I find it amusing because when I listen to um, rock stations and, and white stations, they uplift their older audience and older artists. But when it comes to black lady, we do push them aside. Why, why do you think that's so? Um, I, we've always had a black radio has always had uh, a way of changing with the time. Okay. When I say change with the times, it's not bad, but it's just like um, the best example I've always used is that um, as black people, we'll find a new outfit to wear that's in style. Mm -hmm. And we'll go home and throw all of our old stuff out and buy all this new stuff and wear. And then throughout a year, the new stuff is old history. And if anything's come back, they don't have nothing to go back to. So they have to figure a new style. And radio did, does the same thing. Every time there's a new style, with black radio, there was a time when every time we like you went from R&B, you went to from love songs to disco, from disco to hip hop, you threw away your foundation. You stopped playing your foundation. Mm. It should be a program where everybody can hear it, you know, where we can still be heard and you can still play the music of today. I have nothing against the music of today and the way the artist writes and, and perform their songs, even though I said, we say sex songs and love songs. But if that's what's happening today, it's all right to play it. But you still don't forget about the uh, bridge that brought you over. Mm -hmm. There should be a program that shouldn't be played at three o'clock in the morning or just on Saturdays after Saturday mornings from eight to twelve, or uh, you know, we should still have a, a, a programming where we'll play all the time. You know, mm -hmm. if it's at night from you know, like if you got uh, evening drive or morning drive, maybe you might have a segment where you go back down memory lane and play some of the older artists and play mm -hmm. some of their new material. 
you know, right. and still have your program for the music of today. Is enough for um, I know you mentioned something about hip hop and being sampled. How often have the Manhattans been sampled and are you guys seeing money from that? Quite a few times we've been sampled and I have seen residuals from it. Okay. Prior to this, prior, early years, there was no residuals. But, prior, mm. but now I do see residuals. Okay. I'm not, I won't complain about that. <laughs> <laughs> For you folks who can see him, he's great when I uh, asked about that. He said, oh, I've seen the residuals. So that's yeah. a great thing for you, for you hip hop artists. As long as you cut that check, Uncle Joel said you can keep on sampling. And you know, again, I am not knocking and bashing the artists of today because mm -hmm. that's who they are. That's the kind of music that's getting them over. And, mm -hmm. and I'm thankful that they're able to do it, but I just don't feel like we should be thrown away. From away. You got mm -hmm. Russell Tompkins of the New Stylistics. You got, um, which would be there in August, I mean, October. Um, we're coming there in June. We're playing in Baltimore in June for fa uh, Father's Day and Black uh, Music Month. You know, um, it's, it's enough space in the time of radio that we all can play. Mm -hmm. But instead, in four hours, the same thing is being played repeated every four hours. Mm -hmm. Nothing additional. With nothing added, you know, um, and it's sad because we have lost quote unquote R and B music. Mm -hmm. Our foundation R and B music is lost because um, what's being played now. Again, I don't knock the artists; they're going for what works for them, and I have to give them credit. It's working for them, you know. Right. Can you picture me singing a hip hop record? The Manhattan. <laughs> What the heck is going on with these guys? You know, um, we have to be who we are, and I think we should be respected as who we are, and still give us the chance to be heard by the young audience. I think that will give the young audience audience something more to write about, make enhance their writing ability in, in songs. It'll bring it back around where we have R and B music that um, what they consider. R&B music on the Grammy Awards now is nowhere near what it used to be, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but I just think it's a place for us and it needs to be brought back with reason, with respect to what's going on today, you know? Right. I, I don't think they should stop playing what's going on today and, and get away from it. But I think ours should be an addition to it because we're the foundation of what's happening today. Mm -hmm. All right. We are talking to Uncle Gerald Austin of the Manhattans, and he's giving us the 411 on music today, um, black radio, and the whole nine. There's a, it's a lot of information in there. So I hope people are listening and taking advice. And I know on my part, we want to do what we can to uplift all the artists. Um, and never want to forget the foundation. That's why I'm so excited that we have him on today because I know we said uh, coming up in 2022, we wanted to do more of that is to make sure we don't have just the new artists on, but we wanted to have room to have our older artists, our artists on as well because they can educate and entertain. And also we wanted to play some of that, that their new music. So when we come back from this break, we're going to talk to Gerald Austin about their new music and we're going to actually play something new from them. So keep it right here. So long, so finesse. You know how we do. We'll be right back. Hey, baby. I just called to tell you I made up my mind that I'm coming straight home tonight. Listen. Told the fellas I'm not going out tonight. There's something else I'd rather do. So you can light the candles and you can pour the wine Cause I'm in a hurry to get home to you It's been quite a while since we've had this time So many other things were on our minds The kids are all gone, now it's just you and I We don't have to rush we can take our time Tonight will be very special So very special We can let our imagination go Making sweet love Go places we haven't been in a while Relax, kick back, and let it flow Yeah, get it ready, get it ready. I'm on my way home 
I could hear it in your voice on the telephone. Sweet anticipation, how soon I'll get home. So put on your high heels and the sweet perfume. You know all the things I like to get me in the mood. Been patiently waiting, faithful and true. With nothing on my mind but to get home to you. My body's on fire, deep down within. So meet me at the door, let the night begin. The night will be very special. Oh, so very special. We could let our imagination flow. Make it sweet, love. Go wonderful places, baby. Relax, kick back, and let it flow. Yeah, get it ready. Get it ready. I want us to remember. Get ready, get ready. I'm on my way home. Oh, girl, think about you all. I need you to unlock the door. You are all on my mind. Yeah. I want it all. Have it ready. I want you in your high emotions. Get ready, please, baby. Get ready. I want to wash you from your, your body next to mine. Down won't to your shower. toe. Making love in the shower. You're on my mind. Get ready. Get it ready. I'm on my way home. I'm going to do it all day long. 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 All day Welcome back, so on, so with finesse. Joe Austin of the Manhattans is here with us. I know my mother is going to enjoy this show. She's a big Manhattan singer. Um, I can picture her singing "Shining Star" right now. Um, but Joe, I want to ask you because I like to ask artists because everybody's definition is different when it comes to soul music, and you are one of the architects of soul music. What is your definition of soul music? My definition of soul music is music from the heart. Mm -hmm. Music that's felt from the heart. You know, um, we can all write songs and tell a great story, but singing that song from the heart is what counts. And soul music, it has always been artists, soul artists, as far back as I can remember. Singing from the heart, what they felt, the expressions, you know, um, the expression that the artists show on their face when they perform, you know. Um, that soul music is the, basically just what I said, from the heart. That's the best way I, that I can explain it. I was always taught as a kid from my father and my, my late father and my uncle, late uncle. They taught me that you should know the song that you're singing. Mm. Not lyrically, but know the song. Know what that song means. Wow. And put yourself in that place and project that song as though it were you, or it may have been you, or you know somebody that been through that situation, but sing it from the heart. Sing it with how you feel. It. You know, you make it all yours. And that's soul music, when you bring it from the heart. When, you know, I started out singing in church, and I still sing in church. And when I sing in church, that's where I got my foundation. Church is where I started singing from the heart, because I truly believe in God, God, and I love singing and praising God. And that's where it started. And I do both. I sing in church, I recorded a gospel album, and I still sing R&B songs. And I sing songs that don't bring anybody down, denigrate women. I sing songs to, to make you reminisce of maybe a breakup or going back together or first love, you, you know, your first love or whatever. It gives you something to be happy about and mm -hmm. or feel good about or make you reminisce about. 
And singing from the heart is what soul music is all about. Sam and Dave, Sam Cooke, uh, Wilson Pickett, Manhattans, the Dells, the stylistics, the Delphonics, the dramatics, you know, the temptations. I can go on Gladys Knight and the Pips, the OJs, the Spinners, Patty LaBelle and the Bluebells, Patty LaBelle by herself. These artists are some of the artists that I named and Marvin Gaye that brought it to you from the, from the heart. And some of us are still doing it the same way. Those that are still performing, we're doing it the same way. Jeffrey Osborne, one of the greatest singers I know. People Bryson, singers behind off. These are the artists that bring it home. You know, Howard Hewitt. I can keep naming. <laughs> hey, I, I can see you just, you round them off. <laughs> I've worked with um, every one of them. All right. Uh, uh, so you let's, let's talk about your music. You you guys are recording music still, which I wish I love, and I've had the pleasure to hear some of it. Talk to the audience about the, your music, your sound, and what it sounds like, and 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 why they need to go listen to you and support you as well. Well, first of all, we're singing real music. We did a combination of five or six new songs, and then we covered some others. We you know, did something over, but um, we wanted to keep our, our who we are, the classical R&B sound, but we moved it into today's music, you know, with the same, with today's production and sound. The only difference is that we, we got a bass player, we got a guitar player, we got a drummer, keyboard player, <coughs> all playing on our session. And my musicians, they're the ones that are playing. East Coast Connection is playing on all of the new stuff, you know. And we want to let our fans know that we're keeping the legacy alive by bringing you real music. Wow. And that's what's on our new CD. And we have live versions of Kiss and Say Goodbye, Shining Star, we did another version for everybody by your side, you know, and we continue this because we want our fans to know we are about singing, keeping the legacy alive and singing songs that they can identify with. And please go out, check it out. You can go online and download it and listen to it. Pick whatever songs you like because there's a variety of them. And again, you can go to our website, let's just kiss and say goodbye.com or CD Baby, or you can go to any of the digital platforms. We have a new single. The latest single is called Love Ride. The single prior to that, that went to number one on the US Indie Soul chart, was What About You? And we're still getting responses to What About You? We have, uh, and the very first single release. From the album was Get It Ready, which we have a video on. So, oh, there's a video for that? Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're still out here doing it. I'm not going to ever stop singing Being Me. You know, whether mainstream radio come back and play us on a regular basis or not. We still got the U.S. Soul Indies broadcast. And, you know, we're going to run with that. We got satellite radio that has a station that plays us, our music, our kind of music, our new music. Um, you know, so it, it, it's it's the opportunity is there for us to still to still uh, stay alive and and keep the legacy alive, even though we're not getting that much love, like I said, for mainstream radio. All right, well, we love you here. So we're gonna play your music. We're gonna play it to the to the to the wheels fall off. So why don't you introduce one of your new songs and we'll play that right now on Soul on Soul with Finesse? i I want to play our single that went to number one. And we had the pleasure, it was written by myself, my keyboard player, Colt Younger, and also was produced by uh Colt, and the whole album was produced by Curtis Dukes, our other keyboard. I have to give them 
friend. They're also members of East Coast Connection. But the song that I would like for you to play is What About You? All right, so here it is. What About You? Gerald Austin in the Manhattan, so on, so with finesse. And we'll be right back after we play the music to wrap things up. So I'm going to wear, check it out. Mm. We've known each other a long time. And I've been thinking about you. About you. Thinking about what us. About us getting about together. You. What about you? It's been so long since you let love in. So many ups and downs you don't know how to begin. But I want to tell you just one day at a time. Give me a chance and I'll make you Are you lonely? What about you? Feeling sad? What about you? I can make you happy. What about? What about you? Do you need someone? What about you? To hold you close? What about you? I need to know. What tell about me, about tell me what about you? I promise to love you. Forever and a day, I'll do whatever it takes to make it easy along the way. I'll be there for you through thick and thin. You can count on me, on my word, you can depend. What about you? Are you lonely? What about you? Feeling sad? What about you? Can make you happy. What about, Ooh, what about, about you? you? Do you need someone what about you? to hold you close? What about you? I need to know. Tell me, what tell me, you? tell me. What about you? What about? What about? Yeah. Well, you just heard classic new music from Gerald Austin and the Manhattan. I'm telling you folks, go get that music, go copy it, go to the website. Or if you like me, I stream a lot of music from Tidal. I say Tidal and Tidal doesn't pay me, but I know Tidal pays the artist. So if you want to use a streaming platform, make sure you go to Tidal. They pay the most money. Uh, Uncle Gerald Austin, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. But before I let you go, I'm going to let you end it with some closing words, sir. What would you like to say to the audience? You know, um, I just want to let all of our fans know that we will continue to record and bring you great music as long as the good Lord keeps breath in our mouth. And yes, we'll change with the times, but our songs will still be the same. We will bring you songs. To bring you real music. And um, we're just going to keep delivering and um, bringing it to you because this is who we are. And we don't want to become a lost art you know, with the changing of the music today. And um, so I'm looking forward. We're going back in the studio ASAP and bring some more music out. We will have a single out at least two or three singles out a year. 
God willing. And mm -hmm. that will be great. So we want to keep our fans in the mix and also keep bringing out new songs so that the younger generation can stand on our shoulders and start writing great music for themselves, you know, and change that thing, you know, bring back some of the real songs and real music along with what they're writing today, you know, because it's what's happening, you know. And um, so I just like to say thanks to all my fans and just let them know that there's no me without you. And give a shout out to Troy May and to um, East Coast Connection. By the way, I meant to tell you about three weeks ago, we lost one of our singers, Mr. David Tyson. He passed away. And um, we're still moving forward. We're working with different other people to come in and um, audition to take his place. And, um, and we, we've talked to some good people. So we'll still keep our music going and we're gonna to continue to honor Dave and Blue and Kenny, Sonny and Richard and Smitty. These are the former members of the group. We're gonna mm. honor them as well. All right, and our condolences from uh, Soul on Soul from Finesse on, uh, on losing a great, another great singer, another part of the family of the Manhattan. So um, I, we send our prayers and thoughts to you guys. And, and Gerald Austin, man, it's been a pleasure, not only just having you on the show, but from talking to you on the phone and knowing that you, you know, most people are scared of te new technology, but you ain't. <laughs> My brother, you are, you are on the phone, you are on social media. I see you moving. I see you moving. So I appreciate you, you know, and definitely wanted to keep the foundation going and we look up to you because this show wouldn't exist without uh, artists like you. So I appreciate you and uh, for taking time and being on the show. That's going to do it for this edition of Soul on Soul with Finesse. You know how we do. Same bad time, same bad channel. I should say same soul channel. We'll see you next time. Soul on Soul on with Finesse. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Soul on Soul uh, with Finesse. And Finesse is spelled with a PH. We're on Facebook, TikTok. Instagram and Twitter, and I'm always on. So I'm looking for you and you independent artists. Get at me. Who knows? You could be the next on the show. Until we meet again, peace. Girl, I can tell. That you're ready And the look in your eyes Just tell me That you want me You're a diamond in the rough But you waited long enough To have this experience So come on in Let me take you to a place Where you never, never been Step inside, step inside Let me take you for a ride To a place called ecstasy Let me take Close you, girl your eyes. Close Let your eyes. eyes We'll explore your every fantasy Ooh, Step inside, baby Let me take you for a ride To a place called ecstasy Close ecstasy. your eyes Let me drive We'll explore your every fantasy Slow it down, I'm in no rush Tonight is the night Gonna show you some things you never seen Everything you thought you knew about love Forget it Oh, forget about it, girl Come on in, it's our destiny We'll ride until we reach the point of ecstasy Step inside for a ride to a place called ecstasy. Take the ride, baby. Let me drive. We'll oh, let me drive. Fantasy. Every fantasy.
production.